Okay, so last lesson I spoke about iterative drawing, and in this case I'm going to apply iterative, iterative drawing for a model sheet. So to do this, um, I'm going to start with, I, I need five drawings. I need five drawings at 45 degree increments. So this drawing is going to be front, this one's going to be the back view. That means this one here is going to be the side. That's going to be 45 degree front. This one's going to be 45 degree back. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to draw Mike, our little Pembroke Welsh Corgi. So, first things first is I got to figure out how how tall do I want him to be in all of these drawings, and that's also the front quarters. If anything, I think I understand Mike best from this side. So that's how tall that is. That's the back quarter. And there. Okay. So I'm going to get, get myself one drawing of Mike from the side to get me started. Okay. And okay. Close enough. Got one side view. Gonna do the next one. Now he's at a slightly diagonal view here. Actually, I think I'll probably leave the diagonal view for a little bit later. I want to make sure I get his tail. Ah, I see how his legs are sticking outwards that way, so I'm gonna do the same for that. And then also for the front view, I need his feet here, 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 and here. How tall is he? He's about maybe about that tall. And okay. Good. Now I gotta do the diagonal views. Not a problem. Just treat everything as a box. Seeing him slightly from above. And same deal. Okay, and now let's see the three quarter back view. Treat everything as a box. Okay, so I have a basic framework for all of these dogs. I worked I work in iterations, I work in passes. And the way I work is I tend to work in this order something like that. I don't work left to right. Okay, so in this case I'm going to work in the middle because this one is the most complete drawing. Now I want to line up eyes, eyes, ears, and nose. I want to figure out how that works for this side here, from the front. And then, all right, the back view. And this view. And 
and finally this view. Get that head into a box. Okay, now we've got a bit of that fur that sticks out at the sides. So, I'm going to figure out the bottom of the fur, the bottom edge. Like his ears on this one. Okay, now the shoulders. Oh, those ones are pretty much already done. Now I can start working on just the one leg. I don't like how it's looking in the front here. Because it needs to go out, then in, then out. Okay, so that looks about right. Now the other side has to go out, then in, then out. It's going forward, then down, then out. Okay, that one I leave alone more or less. I'll just pop it in there. This one I can just draw that amount. And that one, I guess I leave it alone as well. All right, fine, then the back legs. So I've got a back leg here. Uh, okay, and I know that the torso, I'm just gonna draw this now so, so I don't forget. The torso really drops down about there. Okay, now that I've got that leg, I can do this one. And then back leg there, leave that one alone. Ah, now I'll take this, carry that over. So what you're seeing is my ability to look at an object from one view, like this leg here, and see or imagine and draw what it looks like from a slightly rotated point of view. This is why I keep asking people, draw the box, draw the box, draw the goddamn box. Draw it, learn how to rotate the box, because everything you see is eventually digested into some box and then rotated. You want the magic trick? That's the magic trick. Learn how to work the fucking box. Please, pretty please, with a cherry on top. All right, what else do I got here? Don't like the proportions of his face. I hold no love for any of my drawings. So I am not afraid to delete them, to erase them. Just looking at the general proportions of his head, which I should have done in the first place. If something is wrong, throw it out. Do not become encumbered by your drawings. If you ever feel encumbered by a drawing that you must somehow preserve it and save it, it is because you don't have enough practice. You don't have enough scar tissue. <laughs> 